All right, hello, welcome. My name is Christopher Godina. Uh, today I'm going to be showing off uh, to you my Unreal 4 level. Uh, showing off some of the triggers, some of the matinees that I've created for this uh, little maze here uh, that I've got set up uh, for players once they come into this uh, this level. All right, so let's get started. We'll go ahead and hit play first. As you can see, you have some introductory text at the uh, top left corner that shows welcome to my level. Every time the player comes on in here, they'll see that text. And you can see we have a platform here as well as uh, another um, part of Lando there. Obviously, the player can't just jump on here. So they'll go ahead and step on this platform here, uh, set off a trigger that will raise up this little elevator, uh, allowing them access to the rest of the map. Uh, so for lag sake, we'll be switching to uh, lit and unlit mode just to show off some of the details here. So starting off, you can see that the text on the uh, on the house will go ahead and change. As the player walks away, it'll just say welcome. As they walk into the trigger, it'll say enjoy the fun house. Just a little bit of a text that I put up there. Upon um, walking to another trigger, this uh, door will open, um, accessing the uh, rest of the level. So go ahead and switch it off real fast. We'll go ahead and see that there will be another trigger that'll show off another light or show off a light, um, allowing them to see a little bit more of the map. Here it's a little bit dark, so they go ahead and walk a little bit more. They'll have another light that'll illuminate a text saying find your way through the maze. And then from there they can go ahead and start um, finding their way through the maze, trying to find out um, or trying to get to the end. So showing off, like I said, we do have some lights here. So we have these um, triggers there that would tr um, trigger these lights on and off. And have these lights here just uh, for a little bit more pathing, a little bit more direction for the player. Instead of going off and showing off the text here on the screen, I went ahead and uh, set up some lights so the player can go ahead and uh, make their way through the maze. Cool. So some of the details that I've showed you already, we do have the elevator here. We do have the text on the front of the house there. We do have uh, the, do the sliding door that you see at the beginning that lets the player come into the level. And we also have this door here which is the end door. Uh, this door is uh, completely locked um, for the player if they first uh, go ahead and step on this trigger. So I'll go ahead and show that off real fast. Switching again. As you can see, if they step on this trigger, they'll uh, be granted with a little bit of a, a text on the top left uh, part of their screen, which is the door is locked. Uh, find the control panel to unlock it. Control panel will be on this side, so they'll have to get to the end of the maze to go ahead and access that. This control panel um, will toggle um, uh, some text on their screen to go ahead and press a key. Once the player presses that key, they'll go ahead and unlock this door. So go ahead and show that off. Switching over real fast. And then to this part of the map, it'll say press E. They walk away, it'll change the text again. So if we hit E, and it'll go uh, ahead and say show unlocked. That way um, this player knows that once uh, they reach that door, it will no longer be locked. They'll go ahead and step on that trigger one more time and go ahead and walk right through that door. So, upon hitting that key, they'll just make their way back here. And uh, you have a prop here right in your way that, um, that will have to be moved. So the player will walk into the trigger, it'll flip, disappear onto the ground, um, letting them access to the door. They'll come on through here, step on the trigger one more time, no text on the screen, uh, no unlock text, so we'll go ahead and show that off. And the player can now uh, get, out, uh, get out of the level. So we'll go ahead and show off. Just we'll start off with the uh, with the elevator here. Go ahead and uh, open up the blueprint. It's just a simple blueprint here. It'll begin on overlap, uh, on play. Uh, the player um, has his target of the elevator. They'll step into the trigger uh, that I have set here for elevator. They'll step into the trigger. It'll rise up, access them uh, more, uh, let them access the rest of the level. As you can see. Some of these uh, matinees will be fairly the same, so we'll go ahead and open up the uh, elevator just to show it off. So we'll have this part here, and once we hit play, it'll show the elevator rising up. If we go ahead and loop it, you just see it'll go through the sequence here, stop, and then loop. Uh, same thing for the door. We have this matinee here, so we'll go ahead and do that. That'll be our first lighting door. Go ahead and open that, open up, uh, that matinee. Go ahead and uh, play it and loop it. You can see the door will come back here, open once the player steps on this trigger and um, grant them more access to the map. Go ahead and exit out of that. And uh, for these lights, they're a little bit different since they do have to step on the trigger. If they do step, go ahead and step on these triggers, a light will turn on, step out of the trigger, a light will turn off. 
so on and so forth. It's just uh, so the play the map isn't lit up all the time, and it makes it a little bit more of a challenge for the player. Uh, these work a little bit more different. Let's go ahead and open up that blueprint. Um, for this one, it's just uh, it'll begin on play, and we have our event actor and overlap as well here. These two will be connected to our. Uh, our target there. So we have our light one. This is our actual light, our point light that's into, uh, integrated into the map. Um, we have that as our target, which is um, we want that light to be turned on and then turned off once we walk off the trigger. Uh, initially, the intensity would be set to zero, meaning the light is off. Uh, afterwards, um, the player uh, has the intensity of uh, 10,000, which will um, go ahead and turn on the light bulb. Just having that intensity of 10,000 will turn on the light. Uh, once again, this is just the light that we have integrated. That will be our target. Uh, this flip-flop here will be um, the A will be um, setting off to this intensity here that will turn on. And then this one, which will uh, turn it back off, this is just saying once the uh, player goes ahead and uh, walks into the trigger, uh, the light will be turned on. And if the player leaves the trigger, it will be turned off. Oh, and we have that. And we can go ahead and access this trigger here that will uh, control our control panel. Open that up. And this is just a little text I mentioned before on start. So go on into here. Um, this is where the uh, E press comes in handy. So we have this E um, where the player has to press uh, the E key on their keyboard. It, we can either make it to a press or release. I went ahead and made it to a press. Um, they have this set uh, value here. So it will be uh, set to unlock the door, which we have here as our target. And this will be the door to unlock. Uh, the text will change once the uh, player goes ahead and hits that key. We'll have that as our target, and they'll get this unlock text, which will be the value. And for this one, this is just to show that uh, once the player gets to the door and doesn't access the control panel first, this uh, pressing the E key won't work. Which so we have this uh, disable input here, and we have a set text that will show the player, uh, "Hey, you have to go ahead and uh, uh, hit the key on the control panel that way you can access the rest of the map." So your text change here, and they'll be prompted with a new text uh, that will be set to our value. This is for the uh, player controller here. That will be set for our for this uh, value there. And this one is just changing the text to simple text. Simple text is just um, the text that I have uh, in place, just as a default text, and then it'll listen for a key press and then stop listening. So for this one. Um, They'll have the uh, once they go to the control panel, they'll hit the key. Um, the um, program will listen for that key press. After it lists the key press, it'll stop listening, and then that way it'll uh, go ahead and unlock that door. So that one, like I said before, they'll come onto here, walk onto this trigger, um, get that text prompted on uh, their left side corner here, uh, tell them to go unlock the door. They'll come on in here, press the E key, go ahead and unlock that door. It'll show them the way out. Uh, and for these, these are just uh, simple triggers that I have set up here. Simple triggers there to show uh, that these are that this will disappear, and a couple more point lights. So go ahead and show it off. Oh, sorry about that. And go ahead and show off in lit mode just to see how we have this light here. We have some of the lights illuminating the place. These will be accessed. These will be accessed here, and they'll make their way through the maze. Shut that off again. Go ahead and play just for six here. So yeah, uh, that was my level. I hope you enjoyed. Um, hope I covered everything. Um, everything that has to do with triggers and matinees um, and all that fun stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.